Santos Test Kitchen at Oaxaca wow. today. You like that? I do. That was like a Brent Musburger jump right in. We we when, are, when are we ever going to go back to my house? Maybe this summer. Know. When we're invited? <laughs> it's your <laughs> house. <laughs> Mike is here, Jimmy. Mark is here, I am here, and these are enchiladas. We finally have the right tortillas for yeah. the enchiladas. Oh, okay. What was the, uh, what did you have, or what were you thinking, or what We just come didn't, in? you know, we work with a, a specific tortilla company out of California called La Tortilla Factory, uh-huh. and it's out of Santa Rosa, California, mm-hmm. which just happens to be Guy Fieri's hometown, my, my dear friend. And, you know, we were waiting for them to develop these and get these ready to roll, not just for us, but I'm sure other restaurateurs across the United States. But we just, the, the ones we had in the beginning, we have street tacos, which we all know, and all of our guests tell us are a little bit too small, and we're changing that. Oh, good. Okay, so we went to a five and a half inch white corn t- flour tortilla blend. Okay. So it's a great, beautiful, rustic flavor of, of Mexico, just like you would want. Uh, it's got a lot more filling in it, um, very rustic sauces. We have a, a really rich tomatillo sauce, a really rich ancho pasilla chili sauce, and this, everything's better with your favorite thing. Cheese sauce. That's right. Some <laughs> queso. Sauce. On it. Queso. So is the is the tortilla made of white corn, or white. is it just happen to be white when it's done making it? No, it's actually made of white corn okay. and flour blended together. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right, Mike. Let's start with this one from scratch. What do you guys put in? How do you do it? And, and tell me the name of that one. All right. This one is the ancho. Um, it is with our chicken. Okay. It's stuffed with ch- ch- chihuahua. Chihuahua, Chihuahua cheese. cheese. Oh. Chihuahua is an actual state in Mexico, right. which there's 38 states in Mexico. Not just a puppy. Just, no, <laughs> totally not different. A puppy totally different, yeah. right? It's not the little t- b- it's dog it's from not, you know what. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, sprinkle with cotilla and so cotilla is kind of like a, an Italian Parmesan Romano. You can see it on But top. Mexico, yeah. It kind of looks like that. And then what's the sauce yeah. for this one? It's an ancho chili pasilla. Okay. And those are two types of Mexican chilies, gotcha. which we toast them and then we add them to, you know, just simple roasted to- tomatoes and garlic and onion, and then we puree them with water. Water is the base to a lot of the Mexican sauces. Gotcha. So. All right. Middle one is called. It is called the roasted tomatilla sauce. That okay. is with our pork, um, topped with pico and cilantro. Okay. Yes. So our pork, uh, which for me is is the telltale of a Mexican restaurant, is the, the carnitas. Mm-hmm. And when I go to a Mexican restaurant, I judge them by how they make their carnitas. Okay. So it's like a slow roasted pork. Just kind of falls apart because it's so it tender. Fa- yeah, and you roast it in lard. You do? Yes. That's how I want it. <laughs> That's, That's exactly how, want how it. I want it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, this looks to be our carne asada, and it is topped. You know, again, the, the enchiladas are filled with Chihuahua cheese, and then it is topped with our carne asada, pico de gallo, cilantro, uh, and then everything is better with the queso. I mean, I think our roasted po- bovino queso. I think it tops our old friend that we used to work for back in the day. Really? You think it does? I think it does. I think we should have a throwdown. I'll be the judge of that. Well, maybe yeah. we should have a throwdown. I'll give you the old recipe for Chi Chi's. Yeah. We'll do my recipe for this. Okay. We'll, invent, and it, we'll, we'll have, have some like gas. a cheese off, a queso we'll, off. A queso off. Yeah. Absolutely. When you make these, do you, do you cook these first and then put the toppings on top, or does it all kind of go in the oven at we'll, the same we, time? We, we'll, we'll cook the filled enchiladas first, Okay. sauce them, and then we pull them out a little bit more sauce, and then we top them. We want the guests to see that you know what every day here at Oaxaca Taco we are preparing fresh cooked achiote chicken Mm -hmm. carnitas carne asada everything we're a scratch kitchen every day you know nothing's coming into us frozen in a box and all we do is thaw it and heat it right or anything like that or at certain Mexican chains where they get their beans that are in a bag and then they add water and then they have refried beans we don't do that that's right that's exactly how they do it as a matter (laughs) of fact are these Mike are these like part of a combo or do you order it just like that or how does it work order just like this okay and it comes out like that and if you want something on the side you choose to order it absolutely like that absolutely very cool now finally it's sunny out and finally it's warm out. I know. Tomorrow that patio is going to be open too. Patio is going to be open every day is, and you can stay out there rain, sleet, or shine. <laughs> but uh, the, finally I think towards the end of the week we're going to finally get some warmer weather Okay. and I think that's going to be a help. I mean People, when, when this came to Howland, uh, we didn't realize what was going to be the demand for inside seating. Okay. So we just thought we were going to open up a taco joint, serve tacos to go, and have go. a little bit of se- right. easy seating over there and then to go. 
uh, you know, we're hoping our next store, which hopefully be online by November, will have more seating. Okay. Well, I, I don't think anyone's complaining. I think this is absolutely fantastic. No, thank you. Now, they have something else. You guys have something else going on in the summer with a name that I had not heard. So say well, it one more time. It's for a me. classic dish from the Yucatan Peninsula. It's one of the most, you know, it's a very historic place. It's where the Maya settled. Uh, that was the, you know, the, the end of indigenous yeah. people of the Yucatan Peninsula. That's right. So we're going to make a dish called Conchinita Pabil. It's typically served on Saturdays in Mexico, uh -huh. and we're going to take a pork shoulder. We're going to season it with achiote and other spices. We're going to rub it down with orange and lemon and lime, and then really? we're going to wrap it in banana leaves, and then we're going to put it on a slow smoker and let that cook until it falls apart. And then we're going to make some heavenly tacos from that. Yes. Usually in Mexico, though, they actually dig a pit in the ground. And then they throw banana leaves on top of that, burlap on top of that, and they just like kind of let the steam and smoke at the same time. Yeah, what do the leaves do for it? The banana leaves act as an insulator and a steamer. Okay. And plus they impart some flavor, of course. That was going to be my next question. All right. So the hours here at Oaxaca Taco are, that's Go ahead, Mike Mike what days are you open and what hours are you open? 11 to 8, uh -huh. Monday through Thursday, 11 okay. to 9, Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. soon to be 9 o'clock, Monday through Thursday, once it... What's, 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 nice what's the daytime? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it extends. As their, their policy is, they give the staff Sundays off so they can take Sundays a little break is, with their families. Sundays is definitely a family day. This is so good. You well, guys thank you. should be cutting into these We're things. going to. We're oh, going to. Trust me. Do you want to have an eating con competition here? No, let's just eat. So why do we have to be so competitive all the time? All right. Good job, you guys. That's the way we are. Pesto's Test Kitchen for this week.